Hello, people. And welcome back to Banished. We're going to start a new game. We're going to call it... Badgerville. I don't know what the seed is. Whatever, we can do the seed. Whatever map that's going to be. Um, valleys, mountains. Let's do valleys. Climate fair, mild, harsh, fair. Let's start on medium. Just so we can have that even start in kind of kind of way. Hopefully we get started near water so we can get a, a fishing dock in there early. That would be, uh, I want to say, the best scenario for me at least. Get that fishing dock. And one thing I've noticed about this game is if you take it fast, you lose. you got to take it slow, step by step, build your town a little bit at a time. Don't add too much or else you die. So yeah, it's kind of hard to say that you win or lose in this game. You just... You just die. So we finished the tutorials up. There's about five different ones. Helpful. There's some other stuff in the tutorials that you can't quite get um, without just playing the game. So you have to play the game to get the rest of the stuff. Of course, that's true for most scenarios. Um, but here we go. Got a, a decent amount of supplies here. Decent amount of villagers. It is already snowing. That's not good. Um, let me pause it real quick, because my bar is open down here, and I can't see the bottom. One sec, I'll be right back. Alright, we got that all worked out. I think it's still paused? There we go. So there we go. So what we want to do first is get some houses up in here so these guys can live. And we are next to a fishing dock. Which is good. That's really good, actually. Why do I keep pausing it? I think my space bar is what pauses it. So I need to stop doing that. So we got some houses going on here. And we want to get them a woodcutter to get warm. Because the winter's here and they're going to freeze to death if they don't. <laughs> Pretty much. Simple as that. So everyone's working to get this done. What I need to do is assign some builders so that they'll actually build the house as well. So let's speed up the time so that we can get these houses done. So then we'll die, because you know what, death is bad. And they have people building that already. Okay, so we got... Still, we got some homeless people. Let's build another house real quick. Here we go. Looks good to me. Is it still cold winter? Let's find out. What's the season? It's the season to be jolly. It is early spring, so winter just ended. Well, good thing we got this early. We can get some firewood going um, beforehand, so we can get that ready for the next winter. But we do need a source of food ASAP, which will definitely be a dock, I believe. would be the best form of food at the moment. Um, kind of a interesting land type. We're like in this little sliver in between stuff. Um, let's speed this up so they can build a house and get rid of all this homeless. What's this? Stone is low. So we're going to have these guys go out and collect some materials. We have enough stone behind us. And let's speed this up a little bit. Have one woodcutter. That can help us for now. They really need to do is start working on this so we can get some food. Food is low, firewood is low. Well, firewood is low because we're just starting firewood. Stone low, firewood low. Do we have enough stone for this? They need to gather some more stone before they can build that, but they are working on it as we speak, which is good. Actually, that's really good. 
have them gather from back here as well. And then once they get that up and running, we'll we'll uh, start assigning the fishermen and stuff, and then we'll start expanding a little bit, but not a whole lot. what we're working on. This is what we need now because food is very important right now. They're going to start dying if they don't eat. Alright, let's slow this back down. Let's go one, two, three fishing in. Why not? Three fishing in sounds good to me. Now let's go to four. Let's just go to four. Let's get them all. So, because food will be our main issue if we're not careful. So now that we have a, a, a way to keep warm during the winter, way to get food now. We're going to have them collect some resources. Um, but let's give them a way to move faster in between things by building our road. So we're going to have a road here, here, here. That looks good to me. Let's make it all the way to here. Now we just really need to start collecting our resources and stockpiling what we can. So what I'm going to do is um, expand the stockpile a little bit more just so we have some extra place to keep it so we don't fill up too much because we're going to get enough, I want to say. We're going to have enough so we don't run out. So we're going to spend a little bit collecting materials just so we have it ready um, for the future. You gotta plan for the future or else you're just not gonna make it. That's just the way it is out here in the wild, wild west. So these guys are collecting food. I'm going to um, first check to see how many citizens I have. Uh, I'm gonna leave that open. Um, so we have 11 adults, eight children. Four of those people are already assigned to fishermen. Everyone else is just kind of mad. So we have two laborers and four builders. So I'm going to change all those builders into laborers. Since that's all we need is labor work done at the moment. And we can change them back to builders later. So we're going to keep expanding out. Let's clear out some of this area so we can see the fishermen a little bit more. Get that area clear. Um clear out some of this area. Um, they are working on that road pretty pretty decently. Uh, what we need to do is get another source of food in here. And I think a good source of food would be... So are we going to be moving up? Yeah, let's move up rather than down. And we will put an herbalist, not an herbalist, uh, a gatherer out here. Um, let's see, where is that source of food? A gatherer's hut. And they can be right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel the resource gathering from all that. And then we'll just gather resources from this side and up. And I need to assign, let's, let's do uh, two builders. So someone will at least be working on that gatherer set for us. Let's check see what kind of food. So we have some fish in here. We have a lot of potatoes. That's good. Now let's just keep going. Um, so we're going to need a blacksmith um, next. But we're going to keep them... Um, building on this road and building that gatherer's hut and then we'll see what we can do with the blacksmith and then once they finish this part of the road we'll expand on the road a little bit more as well once they clear out the area so let's speed this up so they can get that stuff done so we don't have to wait too long staring staring at this screen um, also we want to stockpile some of these resources up just so that we have it for future use because even though it looks like we have quite a bit here it runs out quickly when you start building a lot of things and that's one thing I really like about this game. There's no real form of currency. It's all trade and materials gathered. 
So if you stop playing the game, like in the Sim City, say if you stop playing the game like right here when I have a certain amount of income, I just keep generating money still. This, if I stop playing and they stop gathering stuff, I generate nothing. So this game keeps you playing even in the downtime parts when you're just waiting for stuff to get done. You can at least gather resources. So this means he has gathered the max amount of fire firewood, so 200 pieces that he can. So I'm going to raise that to... Let's just raise it to 1,000, just so that, you know, when we start getting a bigger town, it will be good. Actually, let's lower that a little bit so he doesn't use up all of our wood. Forgot about that. They do use this wood for that firewood, so I'm going to raise it from the 200 to the 300. For this size town, we'll be good, so let's not overdo it. Um, they are working on building that uh, gatherer's hut. We'll probably put a forester out there as well, and then we'll probably destroy it later and move it out here once we build, finish building all the way up here. We'll probably be moving a little bit down. Ooh, that's a pretty big lake. Okay, so... These houses, the entrances, are right here. So let me get the road, since they finished building the road already, and put that over here. Now we'll start putting more houses in between there as well. So let's not let's not go over too much. The entrance to this house is a little bit skewed, but I think it's okay. So you keep chopping wood, getting that good stuff done. Um, this gatherer's hut is still being worked on. So look, someone, a child has grown up to be an adult and has become a laborer, which is good. Good for us. That means more work. They're gathering us some food. Once they finish this, wherever I put it, they're going to be getting us some extra food, which will be even better. So let's go ahead and uh, get that blacksmith underway so we can use some of these resources they're collecting, um, which would be here. No, not there. Here we go. Blacksmith. So we just don't run out of tools. That's what we don't want to do is run out of our tools. So that's going to be right near this house. So probably the blacksmith, once it's done, will we'll, we'll live here. Okay, so they're still gathering. So let me give them some extra stuff to gather by expanding out this way. So I see some rocks in there. We can get some more stone. Um, as well as I can have them gather just a stone from this forest. There we go. Because I just want to leave their forest there so that the gatherer can uh, get stuff. Because evidently the, um, the mushrooms and stuff grow near old trees. So cutting them down will not help too much. Okay, so these guys are working, working hard, trying to keep it small so that the food can grow more than we need, because you always want more food than you need, because that can run out quite quickly, especially when the winter comes. So I have four people working on it. Let's see here. I want them to start stockpiling that a little bit more before we go too much into it. How about those builders? How many builders do we have? Um, we have... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong screen. We have two builders. Let's up that to three builders. All right, let's uh, slow this down. What is this thing? We have... Stone is low. Well, I have them coming to get this stone right here. So he has maxed out the firewood for the winter. We're going to keep going till he hits 500. And then we will stop and keep that. Because that will last us a, a few winters, I believe. 500, uh, 500 firewood. So this actually looks pretty good. A nice stockpile of 80 fishies. Um, 
it's getting pretty, pretty daggone windy out here. Let's check the season real quick. This is autumn. So it looks like the mid-autumn. Oh, the gatherer's head is done, so we will gather, have one gatherer. We'll come out here and gather stuff whenever they need to. They are finishing building this bad boy so that we can get some tools while we're... Um, so we don't run out of tools, because that would be bad. Always bad. Um, not too worried about a tailor at the moment, as long as we keep this fire word up. Um, I don't have a lot of things for them to do in the winter, other than gather resources. Um, getting clothing, evidently, I'm not sure if it does anything else, but it does help them stay outside and work longer before they go inside to warm themselves up. But that's not a big issue. For me, at least. Um, we will probably get that a little bit after we establish ourselves some. So we have a full house here. Full house here. Probably add some more houses since uh, it looks like these guys are getting full. So the more houses you have, then they won't be too afraid to have more children. And more children means more people. So that's always good to have. So we'll add... We've had two houses. Why not? Blacksmith is done. Give something those for those builders to do. So I'll put the limit up one once over what it originally starts as, just so that they will uh, give us more than we need to start off with. So this little town is coming underway. Uh, what is this saying? No citizens are available to work at this location. Ah. There we go. I thought I clicked it first, and I guess I was wrong. So those builders, are they actually building what we need? We got three. That's their only job, is to build. So we're going to have them build those two houses, and then we're just going to go gather a lot more stuff. Because we're running out of materials. That's not good. That's not good. Um, we probably want to stick a well or something right here. Or maybe right here. We'll stick it right here, just because it's there. Um, where would the well be? There we go. A nice, pretty well. Just in case something catches on fire. I never had that happen to me yet, but I fear the day that it does happen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I think I'm just going to expand on this stockpile, and then we'll end it there, and then we'll pick back up another episode soon. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you like it, and we'll continue building uh, this city over and over until we can get it as big as we can. Oh my goodness, where is it? Aha! All right, there we go. I will see you guys later.